Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, January 30th. Uh, we got a couple more days left of this month before we head into February, but I want to yeah, start introducing you to Jen Davis. Good to have you here, Jen. Great to be here, and Paul. You are here from the Missouri River Relief Wild and Scenic Film Festival. Now that's quite a title. What yes, is Yes, it? well, it's our seventh annual fund fundraiser and friend raiser. Seventh annual? Seventh annual. We have we'll be putting this film festival on uh, February twelfth, uh, which is a Sunday, mm -hmm. and it's just one afternoon from two to five PM. So what happens during the film sure. festival? Sure. Well we show films from all over the globe and most of them are uh, pretty short. So uh, we have films ranging from one minute to thirty minutes at the long Mm -hmm. And these films take us to places like Honduras, uh, the Ozarks and the Appalachian Rivers, uh, Alabama, Australia, Tanzania, Germany, uh, Mexico, um, and then we have even a local film that uh, takes place in Missouri and features uh, trout fishing and how that got started uh, and became the amazing sport that it is today for uh, folks who uh, take take advantage of uh, our beautiful yeah. rivers and resources right, right. here in Missouri. So wh why did you come up with the name Wild? in scenic. I can see the, sure. the scenic because you're traveling all over the world to scenic location. Where's the wild come in? Well, that's a good question that we can't actually claim the title. It's a touring film festival from another organization in uh, California. Uh -huh. And so this film festival travels to over 100 cities in the United oh, States. So this isn't local. No, but we get to handpick the films we want to uh, feature and show the local community here in Columbia so that we get a, a committee together early in November and we start watching films and we choose the ones we think. So um, you've seen all of them. Well, we've seen a lot of them, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we had to whittle it down to 13. So we'll have um, two, uh, two and a half hours of films with an intermission. And the intermission features the uh, musicians Ruth A. Koof and uh, Jeff Mueller. So if mm -hmm. any folks in Columbia are, are familiar with their music, it's quite incredible. Yeah. And also we'll be uh, having a, a silent auction during the film festival and a raffle with some amazing prizes that can be won and a bake sale with homemade baked goods. Oh. Oh my. And fresh popcorn, so come hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You've got everything. We do. Besides, besides all the films, 13 films? 13, 13 films, films total. Mm -hmm. Ranging in a time frame from a minute up to, to 30 minutes. That's right. Now, do people come, do they stay for the entire thing, or do you find, find that people come and go? Well, people can come and go if they like, but since it's such a short afternoon, uh, we find that often people will come and join our audience, and they'll watch a couple of films, and then they might mosey out into the lobby and check popcorn. out and get some popcorn <laughs> or some baked goods. So it's also a really great community okay. event because it's a good place to meet your neighbors and see folks you haven't seen in a long time, right. so especially how, on a how cold winter's day. How do people get tickets day. for it? Yes, um, you can get tickets in person at the Alpha. Pine Shop in downtown Columbia, okay. or through our website, riverrelief.org, um, and then you'll find the link to the Blue Notes website where the tickets can be purchased online. Okay, so you can go to riverrelief.org, yes. and that will put you through to the Blue Notes website. That's where right. You can, and how, mm -hmm. how much are the tickets? The tickets are $12 for adults and $10 for stu students and seniors. Oh, that, that's yeah. a pretty good deal. That's right. And that's I recommend getting tickets early because last year we actually sold out. So okay. we think we'll have some available at the door, but it might be a good idea to just okay. go by the Alpine Shop and pick up your tickets ahead of time. Okay. And where's the location again? The Alpine Shop? No, no. Where, is that where it's going oh, to sure. be at the Alpine the Shop? Venue, um, the venue for the film festival is the Blue Note at on the Blue 9th Note. Street. Okay. Yes. So the, it'll be at the Blue Note, uh -huh. but you can get the tickets at the Alpine Shop. That's right. Or you can get it online. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can get it at the door. Maybe. There's no guarantee. <laughs> but if you don't get your tickets ahead of time, come out and try it because we'd, okay. we'd love to have a great turnout for this event. And the event. date is? February 12th, which is a Sunday. All right. Thank you so much, Jen Davis, Thank for you, coming Paul. by. Best of luck with it. Thank you okay? so much. Now, I turn to two of my friends here from Hickman High School. They're going to tell us about a production that is called almost Maine, like the state, and I have Sophia Romero Campaign. Good to have you here, Sophia, and uh, Peyton Oswald. It's a pleasure mm -hmm. to have both of you. Now, are you both uh, actors in the in the production? I'm an actress in the an production, and, and I'm the technical, rec technical, well, the technical director. Technical director. For okay. The so, what is your character? Um, my character is Glory, and I'm in the scene. Her heart 
and basically I'm a very enthusiastic character who just loves nothing but to talk, basically. Uh, very enthusiastic. Well, I can see enthusiasm in you. But <laughs> yeah. what is Almost Maine about? Um, Almost Maine is a show in which it is divided up in multiple scenes, basically talking about how love has affected these characters, how love has come to them, and you're witnessing um, love developing and how love has broken some people. And oh. it's a really beautiful show and it's really unique and I think it takes an interesting um, part in witnessing like how love affects people and yeah. Are you gonna come away feeling good when the production is over? Um, I'm gonna be sad that it's over. But, <laughs> I mean the, yeah. the, the audience, when, when somebody comes to watch it, are they going to um, leave with a good feeling or are they gonna feel kind of heartbroken by it? I think they'll be really happy because the majority of the scenes are happy and love and everyone just loves watching it during rehearsals. Yeah. And there are some that are sad where it's like, oh, I wish this worked out, but... That's life. Yeah. That's life. Yeah. So you, it's, it's kind of a slice of life. Now as yeah. a technical director, yeah. what are you doing? So basically in the show I make sure that all of the lighting, the sound, the set, all that gets finished in like a fashionably and orderly manner. And then like I also like... Um, I like that, in a fashionably yeah. and orderly manner. We have to have organization in a show to make it run right. And so that's basically what I do. And during like um, dress rehearsals and during the actual performances, I'm just sitting taking notes on and like how we can make this production better for the audience. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you also have to be prepared that in case something doesn't go right, yeah, definitely. Uh, you've got to have you've got to have a B plan, right? right. right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Have you had anything not go right during rehearsals? Not for this show, not not yet. No, everything has been running like clockwork. Yeah, everything's mm -hmm. been going really smoothly. Everything has been okay. Great. People watching or listening to us right now, what is the main reason why they should come out to this production? Hmm. Entertainment. Yeah. Okay, I like that. It's entertainment and it's a slice of life mm -hmm. and it's true life. Yeah, right? I think that's it's something life. that people will be able to relate to. Okay. When, when is it? When is the production? February 2nd through the 4th. February 2nd through the 4th and you can get tickets in advance or at the door? At the door. Mm -hmm. Only at the door? At the door, yeah. Okay, and how much are tickets? Tickets are $5 for students and seniors and $7 for adults. Okay, that will be at Hickman High School, and is it only one day? 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of February. So it runs 2nd, 3rd, what is that, a... Uh, it's a... Friday? Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Hickman High School. Mm -hmm. Okay, best of luck, break a leg. Thank you. And keep smiling, you all are just wonderful. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna find out about all the Alzheimer's Association. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio is Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director, Lowell Thomas, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Bye-bye.